in that video his cause of death was tragic and unknown but people in the community shared oh their pain that he died no. people actually went to visit his grave but were quick to realize that his family couldn't afford a headstone for henry prompting people in the comment section to share their sadness what are about this doing today? although henry gained a lot of sympathy like doing, the bro, next patient to see dr now would not garner so much I'm sympathy and video. would actually be one of the most hated to have I'm ever beginning. featured on the show and that is james king james led a life of careless gluttony with no respect to those around him which did not go unnoticed by viewers of the show no. this douche oh. pulled his daughter out of school to bring him food and wipe his ass pathetic james isn't alone in his hatred though with his wife lisa catching some of the hate too starring in season five of the show he did not have a positive attitude from the outset he began his story by revealing he met lisa through his friend and that lisa was actually married to this friend at the time but the two had an affair which led to lisa getting pregnant with james's child and james oh. allows this other man to raise kids he knew were his own. This fact alone has drawn serious criticism from fans, but it only gets worse from here. From the comment earlier, you'll know that he pulled his daughter out of school with the sole purpose of caring for him. His daughter and his kids every single week for him and the back of him, which even goes to his bar, his wife can when he goes to the bathroom on himself. After he finally got in touch with Dr. Now, he was put on a strict diet to lose weight before he made the trip to Texas, which his father needed to remortgage his home for just to give James the money and a chance uh, at a new life. But something. James and Lisa threw this back in his I father's and Dr. Now's right. face as he refused to stop eating good okay, fried and fast on, food. on the way for. to Houston to meet so, Dr. Now, he screamed and moaned constantly um, about the pain in his legs. Rating the this, medical staff this shit and shit more is just about James's just health than he too did much, himself. Right? During this time with you Dr. Know. Now, he basically just refused to listen to his advice, constantly ordering takeout food and giving awful excuses, people. such as their car broke down so he couldn't dead, eat. This you was know, easy to disprove, though. It. After Lisa cooked him a healthy um, meal, he complained that he was sick of the two. same food. Fish and chicken, like, um, sick of it. This awful attitude didn't stop there though, as instead of oh, just not shit. listening to Dr. Now, he and oh, Lisa really actually began to argue shit. with him, claiming that James but, was barely um, eating any food, and went as far to claim his body didn't burn any calories. But, okay, I'm telling so you right that, now, you I have not gave him no food. Okay, this How is does she have a miracle, right? No, it's not a miracle. His body doesn't burn calories. If this fills you with uh. rage, you're not alone. His most views of this show anyway, call him the so most hated patient ever on the show. Well, James' story, though, did have a really predictable no, ending, so unfortunately, as he dies not too long after these, his episode ends. Um, many commenters have said they struggled to feel right. sympathy for him. I'm sorry to sound mean, but I hear nothing for James King. He's a huge know how baby. To... He never did like, anything like we, to better we, himself we know, when he tried to. Like, he just expected Dr. Now to have a magic wand that and get him like 200 pounds. The next yeah, patient in our list though was right? much more willing in their way and journey and she was rewarded with love from the five 600 pound life you, farm you base. Know, Brittany from season three was said you to have one of the most infectious smiles ever in the show. She was bringing a smile out of the intake list who was famous for her straight face. Brittany's life at the beginning of her episode was quite different though. Even knowing at the beginning with her husband that well. admitting that she eats the same amount of food God, as a fall from the fall. Despite this though, Brittany seemed extremely clever and very so, in touch with her feelings, anyway. sharing the struggles of food addiction better than any other patient. Now, I will eat. he is, so he like done so sure, he had shirts stuff. printed up, talking about that's I'm my Michelle and all that. After you know, they have a post on it, and I'm gonna like lead a woman out of that type of bullshit. I did some crazy shit. I don't know what the hell Shannon is experiencing. I really don't, but I share love and tea with you. Somebody I used to be, um, she didn't go live, she got up, but, you know, she was still in that community. When she did go live with Tasha Terry, it kind of put us a lot of fun. Showing off um, her weight loss and enjoying the newfound freedom she was gaining. You know, whatever it is, she's, I, she's, I, she's, I, she's, I forgot. But, um, I would be all over there, so, like I said, I was going back through to try to remember all the people I used to be. Um, subscribe to 
this in this smile only grew oh, as a she had a good time she walked in the doctor now and office she was one of the my pounds which is over 3 foot so, pounds oh fans went the only one giving her praise with doctor now showering her with compliments in the office Ricky has worked very hard and has stayed oh, on track geez. for almost entire year and so, when she had a minor setback, she got right back up and she, she lost her weight. The next patient, though, did not receive compliments from Dr. Now and actually made the top of the list in Reddit's most hated patient on the show and the most so. emotional. Penny starred in season two and calling her delusional would actually be a major um, understatement. Oh, this shit got my damn. Let me, let me hurry up. Uh, uh, what you talk about. This ain't a bad job. They know it's me damn boring. <laughs> yes, honey. I am a grown ass woman. This shame, though, does not seem to affect yeah, her. I am never boring, but listen. Um, I think what Shannon is doing exploring this whole situation is so, like, they class A, you understand what I'm saying? And first of all, I don't know, I, I don't know if it was his stylist that the new one. I only feel yeah, sorry the, for the little boy. The, the male. Apparently his mother thinks food is more that important than That talked him into getting that orange and broken bag. And then the, the, then, um, I don't know who he had on the show. I think it was, um, Godfrey. His ass kiss himself. Um, it, you know, when a man asked for his bag by the designer, it all mentioned, he said, this is a burger because the people talking about the bag coming. This is a burger. Like, women do that. I don't know about this Shannon Sharp shit. I don't know. If some, you know, for, some football people that have come out or whatever. I don't know. I do not know. And we don't care about what, you know, who they are into or whatever. It's these shenanigans. That's what we have a problem with. In the neighborhood of having lost okay. about 340 pounds. Uh -huh. He truly gave zero effort to the weight loss program and through sorry, all the work that Dr. Now and his team gave, which is the complete opposite of that man to them games. An unbelievable transformation. Justin McSwain from season and seven. I ain't show, never seen no shit like that. I, I'm sorry, I ain't never seen no shit like that. He was almost unrecognizable. I know. There's some men I know. They don't even fuck with the gay men in their family like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just don't do it. They definitely ain't going nowhere with him. So, so I think that is going way too much. But these men that are out here speaking out. And saying his ass up. Like I said, I, I don't know what to remember with the morale clause. It was in the ESPN um, contract because we never did get to that point. Couldn't get to Gallo. It was in dangerous, honey. But psychological help from Dr. Now, stuck to his diet and went to the gym, the pair were um. the hearts of the millions of fans. I am very proud of Justin and all the progress he has made over the past year. And he has been one of the most determined and hardworking working but, patient I have ever had. And just I'm sorry, yeah. rewards as he completed one but, of the greatest transformations as I in the show's this, history, looking like this and by the end of the next yeah. patient, although what she is was successful it? in losing weight, the hoarders and, and stuff like that. 
and YouTube commenters shared their rage as and I watched that shit, it just made me seem like I didn't um, organize something as well as I could. I mean, it just drive me crazy like that. And this shit here uh, end up wasn't the only issue as she enlisted her twenty one year old son to be a full time carer for her. Both of our me crazy and I be wanting to but of course we're nowhere near it besides of these people. But when you watch them eat and watch what they go to and watch what they turn into, you don't want to eat another goddamn piece of nothing. And that's what I do. I end up like, uh-uh, I, I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to, I don't want a piece of shit, I don't want nothing, you know. And it, it's just so sad, these people eating a whole goddamn thing of... This is so sad. She's abusive to her but, son. She says that she hates putting so much on him, um, but then involves him in her mental health issues. Abuse, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of boy, stuff. I, I have a lot of questions show, about like that parent thing. Like, you know, I have a lot of medical questions. I really have to find some people. Like, and then Mo could get me together about um these crazy people. You know what I'm saying? They like to wait. All right, trust me. I have to deal with um those people. They be worrying about insurance and and, and authorizations and 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 stigmas and and you know not wanting to make the people feel bad because they crazy and shit and all that whatever. I I be worried about safety. You understand what I'm saying? Shit. And I, I'm, I, I'm just saying, if we see the sign, what they say, see something, say something. You be seeing people. You be seeing people uh, blanking, blanking their goddamn eyes and shaking their legs and all that bullshit. I'm like, yeah. If they ain't crazy now, they're going to be crazy by another two years doing all of that. Yeah. But hey, I'm going to keep on doing my part. Keep us um, safe for them uh, motherfuckers. Make sure they get um, outside behavior, behavioral services, honey. Finally her twisted well, anyway, what I'm saying is about these shows. These shows are effective on what, like, like, if I was, and I'm trying to tell you, I harassed them goddamn smokers. I know they were sick of my bitch ass. I harassed the hell out of them. I sure did. People always ask me, what if that was you? And my answer is, come on, man, I'm never going to slap Chris Rock at the Oscars, huh? <laughs> oh, because you ain't talking about the other shit. Nah, I'm not going to entertain that stupid shit, bro. You're fucking crazy. You going to slap me at the Oscars? And then this nigga turn on his back and walk off like he an action hero. I said, nigga, you going to turn your back on me, nigga? cover of every magazine is Chris Rock getting slapped? Fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. He could be bigger than me, Ali, all that bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm dirty. You don't slap me and have me looking like Kid Quick from Punch Out. I'm sorry. That ain't gonna be the headline. Will Smith slaps Marlon Wayans at the Oscars. No. But Will Smith slaps Marlon Wayans at the Oscars. Then Marlon Wayans proceeds to bite Will Smith's dick off. <laughs> Okay, you ain't funny. I was never the same. And you know, <laughs> um, you know, Marlon Wayans and Vlad, you know, they, they was having a back and forth. <laughs> Is he crying about that? Is this a real epi- a real interview? Made a huge, a huge. It wasn't a mistake. It was, it was error in judgment or whatever. I, you know, I tell you what. From now on, my phone will be in the car. 
Y'all hear this? If you don't want people to know your business, then you just don't speak on it. Now, you're not going to make me look like a damn fool. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big of a star you are. You're not about to make me look like a fool. My style is Hollywood. I get it. My style is Hollywood. He was gay. Okay, that's his life. That's not mine. Hollywood and I, Hollywood no longer... Oh, wait, upset with somebody, man. Sure, I mean, why would you... See, why would you fire him? Even if you were or weren't gay, what's wrong with people labeling you gay? Like, is it that bad? Why did you... Why did you... Well, I see that... Um... That was never the same. So... We're going to be honest and talk about a lot of things oh, yeah. going on. Shannon Sharp leak audio has went viral. Now, he released the statement first and said that it was hacked. So he publicly lied in front of the world and came up with a lot of explanation and a lot of excuses. This what Shannon Sharp said that happened with his situation for the audio. That's crazy. Now, a number of reasons. But I'm trying to figure out people count on Shannon. Um there are a lot of people that count on Shannon to be professional a long time. Oh, okay, this is what he said about the about the stylist. Still try to remain a level even when I'm behind He said that still try to remain a level professional He got the we we ain't got a new stylist because he want he felt like he wanted to change up or whatever. And he had this um, girl for a long, a uh, long time, right? Billions and, billions of people, and then uh, some people uh, saying engaged, that you know he dressed better when he was um, being styled by Hollywood. Your most okay. The audio to be heard. okay. Now he goes deeper on it, but then my he fired. This was staged and it was scripted, and a lot of people were probably involved as well. Ooh, he See, Shannon fired. Trump has been dealing with allegations that he messes with the gay community and he's been going out his way to not let this be a thing because something is about to come out that made up Shay Shay stage this audio in the first place oh he said the same thing I said talking about we're going to play it for you right now and then get on he said the same thing I said I think it's something thing to come out I think it's something to fucking come out she sound like she faking. Trust me, girl. You know how we, you know. Now, that sounded so much like a scripted sex play. A lot of us, when we do in it, we make our women. I ain't heard your videos in 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 a Broadway show year or so. And we saying the same shit. Just unreal. But anyway, but let's fall back and listen to more of it and let you guys be the judge. It's fake, honey. She's fake. Oh, she said she was sucking that thing. She might be younger. Of course, she probably is young, but y'all know I'm talking about like a great deal. Ten or more. Now, Unc Shay Shay sounded like a grizzly bear in the whole situation. Shout out to Shay Shay to prove everything at all costs, but we got a lot ah, of people who reacted Ooh. to it, like Deshaun Jackson. Short, man. That boy Shannon Short, man. Hey y'all, what y'all feel about that man? Because it got hacked, supposedly. But anyway, 
So he said that he went back to this old stallion man. Listen, this lame ass excuse. Because she, you know, was acting like he getting all the new styles, getting all the credit. And she said that she put all those um, outfits together. That the girl put all them outfits. She's saying that he, the, the, um, the new style of Hollywood didn't put, didn't, um, really put not, this was pulling stuff that he already had. Like the girl had them brought the clothes. Y'all, I, I posted the, um, video on the wall. But listen to this, I just thought about something. Could it be that that girl was still the stylist? And this dude Hollywood was going out with, cause why would like why would you? I mean, one, did he ever take Michelle? Not Michelle, but did he ever take the other stylist, the woman to the games and shit? That he took um the gay guy, the gay stylist. It's something to come out of something. It was a Michelle and not a Michael. And look here, the other people. Wait a minute. I thought Shannon Sharp and Ocho said it wasn't a concern to what people preference was. So well, and my Ocho thing is, yeah, Shannon Sharp yeah, why would Ocho say that? Because that means it was on your mind, too. You think that he might be, you know, playing for both teams, or the other team, or some team. Do you guys know how hard it is? But it's not an NFL team. We'll get to that line. But listen, later. so notice the jokes that Shannon Sharp kept making and blaming it on his assistant for why it was um, on in the first place. Anyway, he said place. so he it fired the dude, whatever, right? So I don't know, maybe that dude finna come out and say some shit. Who knows? I run I run my account. But I see that he's wearing those uh boutonniers. Uh huh. Like Jr. Jordan cut it off. Jordan put the message up. Uh huh. And then after I call my agent, I call my agent. I see that somebody got him in, into into that. Weird. What weird about that? In, in style. His agent or his assistant, he says, had the power to cut and again, off live while it was going on. Wouldn't any brilliant brain you to, to know about Jordan fashion or else well you know power. To cut yes, on. a lot See, again. A lot of times people think that if you can be Shannon, shiny and blingy and all that type of stuff and show up looking like a damn trophy or hood ornament or something like that, who well, you know, for no, 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 that ain't how it works. Now, Unc was puffing like he was big bad wolf. Right, that ain't how it works. Okay. But we need you guys to understand. Uh, anybody that knows something about fashion know that you don't wear no knockoffs or no fake. Well, but you wear no name brand for you with that shit. Sharp, when he was out and it doesn't out, make a good investment sense anyway. Who the Sharp hell gonna pay off the streets or whatever? How are they? How much ever they be paying? And don't like save up their money or whatever, and then get the real shit. And you just might, you know, might not be, might not be able to buy nothing but a few pieces a year. Oh well. It all started with his stylist, a stylist by the name of D Print, ladies and gentlemen. Now this stylist is not a normal stylist. He's been amongst these allegations over the years, with such as a football player by the name of uh, uh, Kerry Rhodes, and there was another NFL player that but, we didn't look at yet. Let me just show you. Yeah, but what we're whoever about got so Shannon with the boot is who so. D Print is, and that's another thing. Um, His name is D Print. That was enough for us to know that. But this is him with Kerry Woods, an NFL star. He was mm -hmm. a pro bowler. Oh, hooked up with him, shit. In 2005, I like playing the New York Jets, and he all of a sudden got traded to Arizona Cardinals, and something was not up with it, and people paid attention to the rumors were circulating around Kerry Woods that he was in a relationship with D Print. And a lot of rumors came out and a lot of actual pictures. Now, D Print and himself would later come out and speak about the situation with him and Kerry Rhodes. 
these are the things that D print had to say about the total situation with Kerry Rose. Well, yeah, Shannon Shop always crying and shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think that I probably was the first the first guy that he tried and he's right. Yeah, no, it's just a lot of things together that couples do. So it's not just sex. You know, it's a lot of women out here that with them allegations and with them with them looking all zesty, you know, I I changed it to spicy. But them looking all spicy and shit. There's a lot of women will still go put I mean the women have dropped it. They done drop shit so low. Now my thing is this. You don't want people to know, you know that you, you know these women them. will and just go for anybody, anything, anything, trash, nothing. Now, what was more they so desperate? Is people started putting two and two and, together. And here's the thing, right? The that they I'm glad that I did with guys that being around this gentleman. Now, they are Shannon not made him his stylist, thinking that we're all like that. And they don't all approach us the same story. way. They don't come to us with the same game. Over, you know what I'm saying? We're all the same game. Her name is Kelly and you know what I'm saying? The ones that, you know, got that status shit down. In fact, they, I mean, them, them hoes or whatever, them dime a dozen. They know they can get, you know, the Instagram models. They know they can get them a dime a dozen. When the rumors were going around that he might be playing for D Prince team, when the a dime a goddamn dub, right? They can get them circulation around the world. Shit, shit to come across, right? But yeah, oh yeah, Shannon definitely owned the boutonnieres. Yeah, because he this is the second suit I've seen him when he had one on, so he's he's. He's on to it. They are definitely on to it. Now, what's weird is D Print has been loyal to Shannon. A lot of men I know where them boom is. And Shannon some people don't understand. Some people might think they look feminine or whatever, but they don't. And said, was it styled by me because I never missed Why would Hollywood D Print say this when Shannon Sharp come out and about? and do some of the things see a lot of the things mm-hmm. were coming as far as excuses we've seen i think that d print man finna come out with something or somebody finna come out that shannon sharp had towards d print want to dress my age hang on hang on hang on hang on yeah Like, I, I don't believe that man was ever a stylist for him. I believe him and that man the was something. Was a video of him and Deep Print to show that everything is cool. Nothing is what it doesn't seem. But you can't trick many people. People like me started roasting the hell out of Shannon Sharp. And this what was said. That you don't want to be known. Can't do things that you don't want to be known for. You need to add that to your statement. If you do yeah. sugary stuff, a person should be... When, when, when you when you have them, somebody, it's another not, man pass you that, that zesty looking, spicy looking ass, ass man bag, cross bag, cross body bag, and you and you mention, you remark that it's a Birkin. Got something to say. But you notice what, Ocho? Because here's the thing. If you think about it, Ocho... I'm coming up on four years of having club shake shit. Yeah. yeah. And it's all of a sudden, yeah. even everybody, I mean, there's a, there's this pastor. And you name it club shake shit. That, that, I guess not your gangster pastor. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of a sudden, somebody, you well, want to pull they up. They got them. They got them out there now. Hey, uh, now all of a sudden, I mean, he, he going to do so much. He need to sit his little roly poly ass down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Now, who, as you guys know, who the custom pass? Cameron has a leading sports show, and it's on the It Is What It Is YouTube channel, and you know they respond. First of all, Mace, thank you for responding to me a year and a half ago about my takeoff video. I'm just seeing your message, and thank you. That's honorable for Mace to respond yeah, well, to regular people. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I mean, yeah, this is how I talk on the so. I think he's doing all this curling. <laughs> Listen, but, listen. Go ahead if you let me want. see if they down with the booty. 
The cannon makes the end of the I know you on set number eight. Go ahead, nigga. <laughs> now, it went a little bit further because Mace would still explain his response to Shannon Sharp. This at me. Boys, respect from the jump. Listen to Shannon. You showed boys, respect, wherewithal, the skit bailiff. Man said, put your glasses on and you put your glasses back on. Don't play with me. Put your glasses back on. <laughs> from the jump. Listen to boys, respect mm -hmm. from the jump. Listen to Right. And I think that things was taking turns Shannon Epps would later go um, on to call out may use this uh, he is using this again as to go viral you know um may if, if he's not doing all of this to go viral He's doing all of this to get in front of something. That's when it come out. Because who in the hell? I and mean, then he hosts his own roast? Nobody does that. Things would become peaceful between the two. Now, what I wanted you guys to listen to is towards... You know, my friend, what's what the dude name? Is it Leroy Butler? What is it? Whoever went to the, they either retired or went to the thing, the Hall of Fame. Is it Leroy Butler? Is it Green Bay Packers? I don't know. But they, they got um a whole. I don't know, part of bus type chicks. I don't know what it was, and they took they took their ass on up there to celebrate him. But he's from Jacksonville. I ask my friend. Should they walk back? Should they walk back? And this particular style, shout out to the Hollywood Mugler, because that's why he got his color off. Because he would put up videos of him with Shannon, and he would always be focused on Shannon's cross area or ass area. Like, these are facts. And his same stylist was exposed for exposing another NFL player. Always upset with him. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp is now, always... Now, I showed you the NFL player situation. Shannon Sharp would respond to the deep hey. allegations again. Let's get hey. back. My style is Hollywood. Hi, Hello? Kid. Yeah, um, hey, when, um, y'all went up there to see Leroy Butler, um, Leroy Butler, hold on, y'all went there to see Leroy Butler retire or go to the Hall of Fame. Okay, him, now what team Leroy play for? Green Bay. Green Bay. Okay, I was right. Okay. All right, bye, baby. Yeah, bye. Anyway. So you're basically admitting deep print goes to your house to dress you up with clothes you already have. Yeah. Last time I checked, stylists get a budget, you pay them the money, they go buy the clothes, and they give you what to wear. So this was baffling because Kelly's exactly. original stylist already was there. Why wouldn't she be able to keep up to date with the trendy fashions going on? So there's a lot of mm. going on, and one no other than it's some boo would speak on the allegations and situations going on. about but this, Shannon Sharp. This is taking on dress code. Um, you know who you should a whole nother motherfucking goddamn you know, shit. Yeah. Yeah. They said the nigga named Dick Print. Well, Dick French, you want to come on the show? Come on. I don't give a fuck. God damn it. We got a chair that we can that something. But anyway. Man, I ain't even going to lie. You ain't sitting next to me, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why I went into that new little butler. Uh, <laughs> <You're a motherfucker. laughs> but anyway. That's crazy. Um, now, 
Corey Holcomb said some more things, but I want you guys to pay attention we just, to Shannon Sharp other responses towards this. I don't know if I want to say family and friends because it is just like one or two of them lies. But with and this was supposed to be a big mistake. They're doing more Ronnie Lott, okay, he got a got my cousin, my Which nephew. Let me know this a nephew, well, I guess the nephew, whatever, he went to school with me. He was, he couple, he's several years older than I am, but, but him and one of them, Ken is my cousin, they, like, a uh, real good friend, Reggie Lott. I just say, you gotta believe me. Yeah. Google the motherfucker. Um, a doctor. Yeah. 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 It's, it's almost like Shannon Sharp was trying to force and prove that he's Can a little part of them. our team yeah. and yeah. not the other team. Notice the action. Yeah, run around with them. So. I done been in all kinds of shit. I done been around all kinds of motherfucking people. Yeah. Because lately he's been way more flirtatious with Molly than he has ever been. But yeah, this shit. It is crazy. These men are on there, his ass. I guess that's your way of telling me you guys like my outfit thing. So to see him trying to do the most, this is why people like Corey Holcomb. I don't even know why I went into the Libra Bros. Was getting paid to be a different Shannon Sharp. I don't know what I what what I was trying to make the distinction about whatever, but anyway. They on his ass. These men on his ass. Everybody's on his ass. Everybody should be. I'm gonna tell you, you you gotta talk about current events and things. But you know what I'm saying? You can't come on a live looking dumb, sounding dumb, cause you are dumb, just to tell us that you don't be into this type of stuff. So therefore, you ain't got shit to say but bullshit and lies, cause you're dumb. Like, huh? Now who does that? Um, now Shay Shay, speaking of Cat Williams, Shay Shay would admit Cat Williams called him on the day of the leak audio and so. told him, So today you're not gay, which was wild. Why, see, I uh, caught that as if all the men calling and saying, saying remarking those things, but tell you, they thinking it, they 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 probably don't believe it. Whatever, because like everybody say, and we all know, you got to do a whole lot of shit to get on goddamn Instagram live. That girl, honey, Michelle was putting her mouth on it. Mm -hmm. She yes, went only jumping up and down uh, on it. She was putting her mouth on it. So what's wild about that is but anyway, it works for Disney ESPN. Don't let that go over your head. You know what I mean? Why women and drop the boss so low, honey. It's like, like oh, my God. Situation where you could have get fired, and it was a preventable it's like, situation. Oh, That's geez, why we believe this Sometimes, now, if you get the men, so the, the men the that that's been from the streets and whatever, they think all women are the same. I don't know what Shannon Sharp is. I could care That's why they be poaching all women the same with the same that, bullshit. Right. They ain't got good sense. They don't know the difference. The status. Things that have happened. Mental we level. A situation where we can talk okay. about today's episode. They don't understand. For you guys to speak about. Right. So I but want you guys to tell me. Anyway. What do you guys think you this is? Do talk, you, you got to know about brave? these. Do you um, think Shannon Sharp was brave enough to stage um, the whole thing? Current event. You know, deep print. And, 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 and of course you got to know about how we got here, but he you know how we got to to the event. I mean, you know what happened. You Some know back then or what have you, but I'm watching my words because of lawsuits. But to yeah, see I just don't get it because, like I like said, that, current the event. The people tell you what the fuck is going on because it's current. Forced to retire. I don't think but, you guys understand. So, anyway, this guy was a professional football player, still within his prime, and out of nowhere, he, he was forced to retire after he dealing with that dude. Prone. He was a very durable. You should see how that dude is hugging around. 
um, penis for it. Shannon Sharp been acting like he has a lot to prove. He's been giving people am ammunition, basically, to call him out and to investigate him. And once people start investigating you, a lot of the secrets you have trapped in those mm -hmm. closets start coming out and people start shouting. Now, I need you guys to tell me about your perspective in the comment section. But anyway, I'm DJ Bless One, the best one. It's just so much guys. shit going on. Then the family, damn, it's always somebody from Florida got to go show their ass on the national stage. Crazy as hell. Yeah. Man, the man, he done shot at Trump. You know, we're going to have to find out who is styling JR. I think JR styling himself. Yeah, he be having some fresh. His boot nails be, be nice. Hey. If you don't want people to know your business, then just If you don't want people to know your business, then just don't speak on it now. You're not going to make me look like they a damn nice. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big of a star you are. You're not about to make me like a fool. My style is Hollywood. I get it. My style is Hollywood. He was gay. Okay, that's his life. That's not mine. Why would you find them? No. Hollywood and I, Hollywood no longer style. Always upset with somebody saying that Shannon Sharp is always upset with somebody saying that he's gay. Like, what's wrong? Look, even if you were or weren't gay, what's wrong with people labeling you gay? Like, is it that bad? Why does it. Right. I mean, now like, what are you doing to come across, you know, that way? The life I'm living right now is That's miserable. Crazy. I but, have made myself a prisoner in a room inside my yeah. home. Yeah. And these stories are constantly to a lot of patients featured on the show. Food is the only thing that helps me deal with the misery of my life. And I constantly need it because I constantly need to escape. Anyway, I may or may not upload this one. What is it? Get back in the courtroom. Looks like it's been boring so far today. Well, I wasn't going to come on and do no breakdown on no crime scene photos and shit. That's what's going on. I heard a lot of four or three objections. And it was how cumulative those are four or three objections. But, um,. So, I hope Debo find his unsubscribe button because he gonna stay in a dark place, honey. Let me tell you, because I got good sense and I'm media trained. I don't, I can absolutely hate your goddamn guts, which, you know, I, only, that you, on the University of Florida, that's the only person, until I, you know, ran into this sector, but, so, you know, that's, this is a recent, um, feeling that's all that I can speak on. But you will sit up there with that hey, you know, like, and become dark with your thoughts. But that's what eventually it takes you to. And you don't want nothing happening 
to the people that you actually love and love you. <coughs> you don't want that to happen. You know? You you don't want, you know, because you decide to get down there with the hate and then you be like, I don't give a damn if them motherfuckers take another breath on earth or not. You know what I'm saying? He said some shit like that. And then, then you, you know, uh-uh. No, 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 no. He need to unsubscribe. Um, and go back to, you know, being him and, and, you know, and, and just hope that there'll be a day, um, where, you know, you, you'll run across them, you know, that's about it. Other than that, you can, he gonna have to learn how to say hey and bye. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with reading a motherfucker if they want to be read. But and shit, if you unsubscribe, you won't even have to worry about that. Unless somebody sent it to you. So in this Rico, the, uh, we only have one death and a shoot. Now, now I went through the. I wonder why YFN didn't go first. But anyway. You see, I, I told y'all they were going to let the white man interview. God darn. Take deals and stuff like that and see, as a prosecutor right now, he, if there is some question to it or, or, or something, you know, his his main um his main question from the other side is gonna probably be um chain of custody. Because if he continued to if he continues with interviewing Detectives and things, the people that, um, the, the part of the, of the prosecution team, and, and that can, that can include, or that does include the detectives, the cops, and all of that. When they talk about collecting evidence, then, you know, that's when you start talking about chain of custody. Oh, I'm getting sleepy, loving up. Doing some extra shit. Um, so I went in, she uh, pointed in the direction. Yeah, uh, honey. Maybe she was a little bit made entry. I wish I just traced the, I guess, the direction and noted that he went to her couch as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk through a couple of these photographs with y'all some help on us. Publishing seven Lima Lima. Can you orient for the jury? Do you see the damage you have just referenced? Oh, yes, sir. And uh, the bottom of the door. I don't know. I don't know how this gonna turn out. I would hate for this shit to go off this long time and end in a mistrial. You know? But he can be lucky enough to get a not guilty. Straight up. I don't understand how they picked yeah, all them black people in that jury. It's just, this is just crazy. Now, who did all of this? But he's going to have to 
He's gonna have to get up out of that. Debo is. And don't fall for no bait, nobody trying to get you. You know, people lying about you, saying this and doing this and talking about putting some shit out there and I've been put out there 50 times by the same person with different lives. All that kind of, you can't be falling for that. The only thing you have to just realize, be like, I would never, ever have ever in real life off him had a conversation with these people. It wouldn't even be possible. Like, where would we meet? Where? Direct my mouth, or you, you tell me, you talk about toward the right of where that clicker is. You know? Yes. Like, it, it's impossible. We, we wouldn't be in the same now, location. After, was anyone else in the Like, that's crazy. Or did you ever become aware of any other? Yeah, I got to go check on Miss Sweetie Pie. See what, see what that case doing. Oh, 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 um, Bad Body Tim. Who that was a funny shape dude. God right, damn. That's to be more careful. And that's what the man said. Say less. I don't know when. Like, what do you do? We supposed to be saying, can we say it? You know, the man said, say less, brother. Say less. I'm like, oh! I'm going to go see Miss Andrew Abbott. All kind of strange shit gets your ass. Gets your head, heart, and panties. Mmm. Um, you know, in that, in, in one of the videos where, um, Woody and that boy was happy because the girl ain't have on no panties. So I'm like, look how happy they are because the woman ain't have on no panties. But, um, and, yeah, so, you know, I don't know if y'all heard me, but it's time I've listened to that old 600-pound thing, whatever. A lot of those people were dying from septis. And I thought septis was some type of infection, but I looked it up, and that's exactly what it is. And I was like, now I'm sending from this goddamn hole in my damn body. Okay. I'm simply, like, listen. There's a lot going on. And what type of damage and uh, this I need, somebody need to suture more. that up or whatever. At this point, I want regular sutures. Fuck that. I'm going to need some sutures. I'm not playing these games. And, well, when I saw it about that septic, and I'm like, now I've been laying up here, and I got to keep laying up here. Uh, I went to reach for my old ass, what you call them things? Answer by eye. And is there any glass? Yeah, I did. Yes. Oh, Lord. Glass I still got them. You know, and I, um, and, um, hey, we'll get here. Ooh. What we were just discussing? Yes. Oh, yeah. Is not here. Um, where did that girl at? She come in here and show me how to
inside that one. Yes. And is that, do you know what type of, um, either, what that is? Does that have any connection with bullets? Yes. What is it? Like fragments from bullets. Turning to 23 Lima Lima, inside of this apartment, was there any defect in the walls from the inside that apartment? Yes, sir. And did you do a similar to how you did in this battle's apartment in terms of try to trace as best you can where the bullets came from the outside in? Yes, sir. I'm showing you it's 24 Lima Lima. Do you see a defect in this photograph? Yes. Also publishing 25 Lima Lima. Do you see any defects in the, in this photograph? Yes. And from your personal opinion, did you or did you not believe that these defects came from bullets? Yes. They did? Also showing you 26 Lima Lima. Do you see any defects here between the laundry room area of the apartment? Yes. And can you describe for the jury where it is? It's right in the kind of middle of the um, picture in between the cords, the hole. 27 Lima Lima. Was there any, and I'm going to actually go to a better one, 29 Lima Lima. Do you see any damage to this other window inside like the bedroom area of that apartment? Yes. And is where the mouse is in the area of the window that has the bullet defect? Yes, sir. Do you, is this another angle of that same window in 30 Lima Lima? Yes. And do you see Officer Hill in 31 Lima Lima any bullet projectiles or debris in this photograph? Yes. Can you describe for the jury where, where that is? So it's inside the left shoe. And is is it the all white shoe? I'm oh, sorry, the um, yes sir, the all white flat shoe. In the and is it towards the toe or the heel of that shoe? Towards the heel. I'm gonna move. Is that what you were describing, Officer Hill? Yes. Even though, I know y'all may not believe it, but the bell knows it. That's all that matters. My buddy. Let me put it like, uh, let me finish that off. My buddy. Because I, I'm really um a, a lover. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't love. I'm not a. Uh, I gotta say, I can't say I'm not a people person. I don't choose to be, but I have to be because, you know, of who I am. I mean, it's gonna, I'm just going to put it like it is. I'm, I'm, I can't ed- be editing myself or whatever. Because a lot of people out here got the same shit going on. And there's a lot of people in my life or people I know 
got the same shit going on and then some. So I can't be be editing and shit, you know, trying to be mindful of I don't know what. I don't even know what. Like, what do we, we got to be mindful of? Our life is our life. You know, it is what the fuck it is. Whatever I was recognized for then, I'm still recognized for now. I'm still the same goddamn person or whatever. And everything that we have done to this day constitutes as our life. So I don't know why I got, you know, I mean, well, I mean, don't put this uh, word up. Don't say this. Don't mention this. Uh, because of what? Because of some motherfucker that. They ain't get it, achieve it, or whatever. What the fuck I do with that? I'm, I'm going to stop doing that, you know. People, yeah, hey, man, if you don't like me, you put nothing in nobody's face, but, no, no. I try to be nice. I don't understand what we got to be understanding about. I ain't finna be understanding about my dating history, none of that. I ain't got, ain't got nothing to do with it. Because everybody got a dating history. I reckon. And if you had the I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm pretty sure everybody done accomplished some in it. Like, just some more than others. Some less than others. And were you able to do anything or take any steps to identify who was fighting that subject? No. Oh, that's crazy to me. Were you able to do anything cray cray. to identify that well, anyway. shooter? I have to be a people person. I'd rather not be. But I don't, like I, you know how I am by people, you know, occupying my space, getting, yeah, I'm getting to know person or whatever, and they be fucked up and all of that. Uh-uh. But luckily, my people picking process is pretty on point. Um, you know. Usually be around nobody that, you know, is going to be determined to be a fake or those people that are like that. Those are people that I don't have to have that much of contact with. You know what I'm saying? So, but... Mm-mm. It's crazy. I might not upload this. But I don't fell asleep and all kind of shit. But I don't know. Did I tell you that about that septic shit? I went and found them goddamn antibiotics. They don't get me. Get them people on that 600 pound life and stuff like that. Them people was dying from that septic shit. I got to find out about medical shit. Oh, you you know, I know. But I have a lot of questions. I mean, the bone in my, on my ass just hurts so bad. Jesus. It hurts so bad. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we well, always gotta keep our healthy mind, healthy body. And what I said on my real social media, people dug it up. I hope I got nine lives because I'm gonna need them. I done had. Um, you know, the situation that I have or had, it, um, wanna, it, it makes it hard for you to fight off.
cold and infection. And it makes it harder, right? It's supposed to be, right? Not your mama. I mean, I had pneumonia four times. Four of them. I'm still here. That shit took um, Bernie Mac out. Man, that's crazy. But I was saying that. Listen, I don't never take all my meds and stuff like that. So that's why I be still left with whatever they have. <clears throat> I mean, I have so many bottles of of um, what you call them things. Muscle relaxer, that's crazy. Yes. What type were they? They were nine millimeter. Um, I gotta do this live. I'm sleeping off of that phone and buttons and shit. It was, but I don't know. I don't remember what the other patient was. Going back to. Anyway, where is the shell casing in 35 minutes? I hope. This shit here with a, a, a result so out of a non guilty and guilty, so I don't have to redo this shit over again. And this is pitiful. And the, the damn judge getting short with the people. But yeah, I mean, oh my gosh. Like, rest in peace to Tito Jackson. He was 70. Damn. I want people to stop shooting at President Trump. It's getting crazy now. Like, this is crazy shit. Don't worry. People that got the power to take the people off the street more, she won't do it. She would not do it. <laughs> not love me some more. So those are the type of um, disagreements I want to get when somebody got some sense and some paperwork. I, I, uh, uh, I can't do it. Somebody ain't going to lie me all up. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, you, you have, you're supposed to keep your arguments on the topic, on the subject. Y'all take it way too far. You know, y'all go take it in all kind of other direction. That's when you know you're losing. You got to take it to um, outside of the subject. If the subject is me saying that you stole money, then that's what it, you, it, the argument should be on. That's what we should be going back and forth about. Not where your kids go to all that type of stuff. No, 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 no. It's weird. And see, I ain't like these other motherfuckers, honey. I take accountability. I'm been acting crazy too. Give me ten to do dirty. That ain't ten. That ain't 10 simple. If that is 10. That ain't 10. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you took your hand off. You took your hand off. Too dirty and cheating. <laughs> anyway. I know I just lost y'all right there. I just broke out into a little skit. But anyway, we're going to have a positive existence around here. We're going for it. Yes. And may our flashbacks and, 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 and our shenanigans be, get fewer and fewer. And far and in between. You understand what I'm saying? And while, you know, the hate may not go nowhere, it doesn't mean that you have to be, um, you can't be dignified, you know what I'm saying? 
So, Oh, Lord, I got this. All right, here we go. Oh, 